plaintiff, Hezekiah Hudson Jr. says he owns the only and best barber school in Savannah, Georgia. And a lot of his students have gone on to open their own barber shops. Hezekiah says he rented a space in his shop to the defendant, but he's suing her today for rent and the cost of a sink. Defendant Marquia Falston says Hezekiah is just mad at her because she called his wife and told her about his mistress. Marquia claims Hezekiah is suing for more than she owes, and she's countersuing for a security deposit. Start with you. My name is Hezekiah Hudson Jr. I'm the sole owner and operator of the only and best barber school in Savannah, Georgia and surrounding areas. And I'm the second generation in barbering. My daughter and my grandchildren are the third and fourth generation. And after learning barbering, I went into the Navy, done my tour there, came back home, resided back into my shop. And the state board wanted a barber to teach barbering in their school, so I accepted the job, worked there for 25 years. They ran out of money, and I was so glad because that gave me the opportunity to open my own school. And I operated my own school where it is now for the last 22 years, and it is in still operation. And I'm training all of the young and older folks that want to become barbers around that area to become good master How many barbers. students do you have per year? On an average of 16 to 20 mm -hmm. per session. How do they pay for their uh, schooling? A lot of them pay personal money, some of them by VA, the Veteran Administration, some by grants and other organizations. Okay. And some of them go and work for others and then ultimately get their own shops or what? I have several of them that owns and operate their own barber shop. I have one that is in school now. He's, he has two barber shops in Hinesville and he's back in school taking up the instructor trade because Good. he want to advance himself a little higher. Excellent. So you're responsible for a lot of folks' jobs and um, skills. Yes, you are. Good. Plaintiff Hezekiah Hudson Jr. rented a spot in his barber shop to the defendant, who claims Hezekiah is just mad at her because she told his wife about his mistress. Your witness wanted to say something. Would you like for her to speak? Yes, sir. State your name. My name is Helen Hudson, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to give you a little background on my husband. He's very, very given to walk back to the community, and especially the young ones. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Especially mm -hmm. the young ones, keeping it off the streets and so forth. He is the president of the Waters Avenue Business Association, trying to make the area better because the area is really crime and so forth and so on. And ironically, on my way here in the airport, a man said, you, Mr. Hudson, the barber man. He said, yes, I am. He said, do you know that you have put a lot of food on people's tables? And do you know that you've helped them pay their rent and everything simply by teaching them a trade from Hinesville, Brunswick, surrounding counties, South Carolina, he has a 99% passage rate. And on last Monday, Monday gone, Your Honor, a FedEx man came. He said, hello, Mrs. Hudson. I figured he knew me from, because he was bringing a package for me. He said, tell Mr. Hudson that I am still barbering and I am still driving FedEx to supplement my income. Okay, good. But I see he don't play about his rent, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> sure, sir. He do a lot of trade. He don't play with well, his rent. Well, sir, we have to. Let me let you to... give me some background, young lady, and okay. then we'll get into the rent he's suing for. Go ahead. Okay, Mr. Hudson was giving back, all right. Mr. Hudson's mad at me because I called his wife and told him about the mistress, his little girlfriend that he had living behind the um, Why would you do shop. that? Because she was doing all kind of stuff in front of the salon. So I got tired Why of it. Why did you call his up. wife, though? Because he wasn't home. And you told his wife that he had a mistress? I, t well, I didn't tell her she had, he had a mistress, but she didn't know that the lady was living back there. Yeah, but this stuff about she was his mistress, where does that come the, from? Everybody in the neighborhood knew, even she I told know, but it. you told his wife that? 
No, I told his wife that he had a woman living in the shop no, behind the salon. but you just made reference to her as his mistress. She is, yeah. Is this the first time you've said it? No. So you have said it. That's my point. Yeah, I've said it before. And did you say it to his wife? No, I didn't tell her at that time. Okay. When did you tell her? I never told his wife. Other than today? Yes. Okay. No, no, Your Honor, that's not true. Mm -hmm. She did say it to me. She called me, and I never laid eyes on the young lady. But I told her I would give him the message. I did not address, address your, that. Your Honor, I Be quiet. That. You told me you said it in the first place. That's exactly what you said you did. It wasn't until I questioned you about it and asked you why would you do that, that's when you changed the story. <laughs> All right, ma'am, I understand. Yes, sir, that's Some of these it. young folks are just disrespectful, and they make up anything to keep from paying their rent. Yeah. All right, and you sound like you had the wisdom to know that. All right, let's get to your rent, sir. All right, you're suing her for a rent and the cost of a sink. How so? Well, Your Honor, she came to me, and she, she asked me for a, pl a space in my shop. Well, I have a... I own the building, so I rented her a spot in my building so she can operate... Beginning when? Her salon. <clears throat> when? That was in um, March of 2013. How much per month? $400 per month. Okay. What months has she missed? All right. What are you reading from? You're reading from a list of yes. months? Yes. Let's see. Okay. Your Honor, if you notice, every month is the time get later and later. Her rent is due on the 18th mm -hmm. for, for, the, the, for the rent for December. She paid it in January. All right. The, the rent for January, uh, for February, she paid... I All mean, right, for... I got that point. So what months does she currently owe for? She owes for June and August. I mean, excuse me, July and June. June and July of yeah. 2014? Yes, you are. And that's 400 each? Yes. Plaintiff Hezekiah Hudson Jr. rented a spot in his barbershop to the defendant, who claims Hezekiah is just mad at her because she told his wife about his mistress. Ma'am? Yes, sir. Um, June and July, do you owe those months? No, sir. No, Your Honor. I only owe for July. I paid him on June. His wife was in the hospital. June what? I paid him on June 30th. I withdrew the money from my account on June 30th. And I paid Mr. Hudson. I called him on his cell phone. His wife was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I met him at Memorial Hospital. Oh, right in July, you didn't? No, I didn't pay him for July. Why not? Because he said I owed him for June and he didn't give me my deposit back. I went to the hospital mm -hmm. and I paid him. Mm -hmm. I have a note from my daughter mm -hmm. where I paid him. Mm -hmm. And he says that you were always one month behind. And the sink, how does she owe you for a sink? When she first moved in, they changed the sink that I had in the place and put one of those pedestals sink in. When she moved out, they did not replace any sink at all, so I had to replace it by purchasing a sink and had my plumber put it in. He's trying to sue me for a sink that's still on his property. His sink is still on the property. Did you remove it at all from no, the sir, wall? I did not. It was not. never taken off the wall. No, it was in. It was taken off the wall. Who took it off the My wall? My husband did. Then why do you keep saying no? He's saying that I owe him for a sink. If you that took it off the wall, you have to put it back on the wall. All right. Your counterclaim for 200 for the security deposit is for what? Because I paid him for June. He said, he just told you okay. from his testimony. Sir, what about the security deposit? I had to fix my sink and other little minor repairs. Well, you have to show me the minor repairs. You what? can't take no. the one with the security deposit and not show me what you're uh, taking it for. The sink is the only thing that I'm asking back for. Okay, so that means you would have to pay her security deposit. And I'm going to grant you, sir, $878. And I'll grant your security deposit. Have a good day. That's my judgment.